I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we're 27 Travels. And today we are in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> so if you can't tell by the iconic Sydney Opera House behind us, um, we are in Sydney, Australia. And we're going to be here for about two weeks. Yeah, literally. We have a lot of time here, but we're doing some other like pit stops like on the way, but we're so excited. I mean, Australia is a long flight from New York, so since we took the long flight, we were like, we have to stay for like an extended period of time. And also, we've never been to Australia, so it's a first for us. So we were like, we want to spend a lot of time here. And it's also our sixth continent together, so I think we only have Antarctica left, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Wild. So, so crazy. But um, Australia and Sydney are amazing so far. So we've actually been here for a few Few days already so we're gonna do a little rewind now I'm gonna kind of show you what we got up to at the beginning of our trip <laughs> arrived in Sydney a few days ago and then we went to Byron Bay and now we just came back so we have been in Sydney for like a few days but then we like left so basically this yeah. is our first like full day back in Sydney it's amazing because we really get to see all of Sydney and so far we really love Sydney it's so like walkable there's like a train system which we haven't done yet but we definitely will and I don't know the city just has everything it's amazing yeah this is like the first time that Gab and I have been somewhere and we've said like we could literally see ourselves living here besides Carousel because you all know that we love Carousel and Gab we have with us we go every year but like besides carousel this is the first place where we feel like we could truly like see ourselves like living like I don't know if we would actually do it but like it like the vibe of the city is perfect it's like the perfect city yeah for it's us cool here. and we're yeah. really loving Australia and it's just like it's the best so we're <laughs> having so much fun and we just can't wait to like go explore the other areas we haven't gone to yet yeah so actually one thing we haven't done in Sydney yet is actually go to the beach and there's supposed to be really amazing beaches in Sydney so that's what we're doing today we're going to the Bondi area and we're gonna go to this area called the Bondi iceberg pools which is kind of like it looks like some sort of like infinity pool that kind of like overlooks the Pacific Ocean but obviously we haven't been there yet so we don't know but that's what it looks like from the photos yeah it looks amazing and I'm so excited about it because you know that we love a pool but also we might go to the beach too so we'll kind of see what happens today and where the day takes us We just got to the iceberg pool. Look how cool this is. It's so beautiful over here. And over there you can see is the beach, which I think we're also gonna go to because it looks so nice. You ready to hit the pool? Yes. Gabby's living our best life right now. I'm so happy. This is the water. It's so cold that it feels amazing. amazing. I mean, it is called the iceberg pool. It's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. finished up at the iceberg pool and that was like really cool probably one of like our favorite experiences like ever while traveling like that pool we've never been anywhere like that before we were literally getting splashed by the ocean water while we were sitting at the pool it was so much fun I literally had to put the camera away because like we were getting drenched with water um, but now we came to Bondi Beach which is literally right behind us right here and we're gonna go on the beach for a little bit So we're also here for World Pride and it's in a new like the destination basically every other year and this year it's in Sydney and when we heard that World Pride was coming to Australia we kind of were like mm maybe we should try and go. It'd be like a really cool opportunity. Yeah, but we weren't sure that we could make it happen. But in the end, obviously we're here. So we <laughs> did make it happen because at some point we decided like, we really want to go to Australia. We really want to go to this World Pride and it just feels right. So like, we're going to find a way to make it happen. And we did. So hence you see us sitting right here on the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's a lot of like World Pride celebrations happening. So I think we're going to do a whole separate video on just like what it's like to be in Sydney for World Pride. Um, so this video is going to be more of just like what we get up to while we're in Sydney. Yeah, and there's so much like to do in Sydney and Sydney has so much to offer so we can't wait to show you everything that we've been getting up to and are going to continue to get up to while we're here. So as you can see the 
Opera House is behind me right now and it's actually been there since 1959 and is one of the most iconic things to like do and see in Sydney. So like I feel like the kind of like picture of the Opera House is associated with Sydney all the time. Like when you see it you know like that's Sydney, Australia. We thought it was so beautiful up close. Yeah. I think this view is really nice too. So beautiful but I also like the view from across the water and it is an operating Opera House like you can go and see shows and performances and things like that there so it's a really cool thing to do if you're in Sydney and you have to check it out but uh, when we walked there we actually walked through the free gardens that are over there which was super nice so you can really make like a whole entire day of it like walk through the gardens check out the botanical gardens and then go to the opera house and maybe even see a show okay so this area where we were by the opera house I believe is called the rocks and it's actually one of the oldest like neighborhoods or areas of Sydney um, so this is like the opera house over here but then you can also see the Harbor Bridge right here. We just took a bunch of photos here because we're obsessed with the spot. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so nice. And we just found the spot accidentally yesterday. So now we're like, oh my God, this is near where we're staying. This is awesome. <laughs> so if you want to come see like two of the most iconic, like I guess, viewpoints in Sydney, the Harbor Bridge and the Opera House, just come to the rocks. So now we came to this area called Newtown that we did come to a few days ago, but we only came for dinner and we were obsessed with it, even though we were only here for a few hours that we had to come back. Yeah, we were like, this neighborhood is so cute. It kind of reminds us of home. Because yeah. It's like, it kind of feels like the Brooklyn of Sydney. And obviously we live in Brooklyn, so we're like, we love this neighborhood. So many like vintage stores, like cute little shops, coffee shops, and amazing vegan restaurants. Yes. So we had to come back. We're like, <laughs> we're coming back during the day to check it out more. So we're going to walk around, um, get some lunch here, pop into some of the vintage stores. Um, yeah, we just love it over here. It feels very awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. We would, if we lived in Sydney, we would live in this neighborhood. <laughs> Where are we right now, Shanna? So we're at this place called Lord of the Fries. It's like an all vegan kind of like fast foody kind of place. And yeah, like we don't always get that. that. We don't always, are, we're not always able to get vegan fast food easily. But look at this. These are mac and cheese balls. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Shanna got poutine. Mm -hmm. And I got a fish sandwich, cool. which looks incredible. Is it good? Yum. Okay, we're going to eat all of this now. But yeah, definitely worth checking out, especially if you want a little fast food vegan food. Okay guys, what are we going to do right now? We're going on a gay sunset cruise. <laughs> so excited. We haven't been on a boat in the harbor yet and everyone keeps telling us that's what we have to do in Sydney. So, so we're doing that today. Clearly Look at these cuties on a boat. <laughs> All right, hopefully you can hear me. It's super windy, but we are at Kuji Beach and we're with Kala. Kala. At Kuji Beach. Kuji. 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 I heard Kuchi. someone else say it like that, Kuchi. so that's what I said. So pretty, look at that. But anyway, we're gonna go, if you can hear me, we're gonna go and do this beach walk all the way, so. What's it called? The, the, the walk goes from Kuji Beach to Bondi Beach, and you can just apparently like walk across the thing and stop at some beaches along the way. There's like a little free pool thing that we're gonna check out, so. Yeah, we're gonna go do that right now. Bye. <laughs> so we just got to a stop on the walk called the Giles Bath. Yeah, we basically walked one minute, what Shanna's saying, but it's so beautiful. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, Callum is going in right there. Hi, Callum. I want to go. Shanna's going in. All right, but it looks amazing. Look behind us. You can see the rocks and the beach or the baths. It's amazing. Yeah, it looks amazing. Let's go. Okay, so 
it is a, another day in Sydney, um, and we actually came to North Sydney today, which is basically like across the harbor. Um, we haven't been to this area yet, and it feels very suburban, even though it was only three stops on the train. Like, it feels super, super suburban. It only took like 10 minutes to get here, but the vibe is totally different. But you can see a really cool view of Sydney and the Harbor Bridge and stuff from over here. Right, Gabby? Yeah, it's amazing. It's such a nice view, and it's like we're on the opposite side of where we normally are, but it's yeah. beautiful. So that is the Harbor Bridge, which we've seen a lot. Um, you've probably seen a lot in this video, and that's just like Sydney itself. And this area is super, super cool. It's very quiet over here. Also, just in general, like the train in Sydney is super affordable and really easy to use. Like we didn't start using it um, until a few days into our trip because we weren't sure how it worked. And then we talked to someone and they're like, oh my God, yeah, it's super easy. All you do is like tap your card or use Apple Pay and you just get in. You don't even need like a, like a Metro card or anything, or I'm saying Metro card because I'm from New York, but like, like, you know, like a transit card or anything. You can just like tap your credit card and it's so easy to use. I think every time we've used it so far, it's been like under $2, <laughs> which is insane. Um, so definitely try and use the train when you're here. It, it kind of goes almost everywhere like sometimes we'll have to walk like 10 minutes from the train to like, get to where we actually want to go but for the most part it can get you where you need to go um, or you can just walk like Sydney's super walkable we've been saying that this whole video but you can definitely walk just walk if you want to but the train definitely gets you closer to where you need to go yeah we walk everywhere but the train is also amazing and so clean and easy like very different from the train in New York yeah <laughs> So the sky kind of looks like it might rain on us. That's another thing about um, Sydney in general is like the weather is super weird. Like it'll be like, it'll be like super rainy in the morning and then sunny in the afternoon and then rainy at night. Or like the weather will say it's sunny, but it's raining and the weather will say it's raining and it's not raining. I don't know. Just so just basically don't trust the weather up here, but I will say in general, it's hot and it's humid. Um, and the sun usually comes out, but also usually rains. So just prepare for everything. <laughs> for dinner tonight, we came to this place in Newtown called Vando, which is an all vegan like Mexican joint. And I'm with two people who you may recognize. Let me just flip the camera real quick. I think you guys know them. <laughs> you know us? Somehow. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm excited because I really, really want nachos and we ordered them. So, <laughs> so vegan nachos are my weakness. And these look so good. Does it have vegan steak meat though in it? I think so. So Ravi might not want it. It's jackfruit. I don't know what it's made out of. It Try it. Like Let's get his reaction on camera because Ravi doesn't like fake meat. <laughs> it looks like you don't like jackfruit though? Like <laughs> 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 like kombucha, the kombucha girl meme. Okay, so it is a new day in Sydney now and it's actually supposed to be sunny for most of the day. So we decided that we're going to take the ferry to Manly Beach, which is like across the harbor. Yeah, and we haven't taken the ferry yet, but we heard that there's amazing views. And so far, doing all public transportation here has been so easy. Like whether it's ferry, bus, or train, we've done all of the above. So we're going to go to Manly Beach. It's supposed to be really beautiful. And we haven't been to like the beaches on that side of um, Sydney yet. So we're really excited. Yeah, we can't wait. Basically, we have two days left in Sydney and we're like, we want to have all beach days and hopefully the weather is going to hold out for us. <laughs> We made it to Manly Beach. Hopefully you can hear me because the waves are kind of really loud behind me. But um, Gabby's putting on sunscreen. But I decided to come to the water for a sec to get like cool off because it is hot here, super hot. But this beach is really cool. It's really nice. And there's a lot of people surfing like right in front of me. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. But look over there, everyone is just surfing. Like literally everyone is surfing. So cool. here because we're actually going to New Zealand tomorrow which means they're gonna have more videos coming from us but that's gonna be the end of our Sydney video yeah obviously we're back at the beach because we just love the beaches here and we want to experience it on our last day but this is kind of the end for you all <laughs> yeah so Sydney in general we've absolutely loved like as a city um, we had the best time here we actually feel like we could live here which we don't say all that often when we are traveling somewhere yeah it's a super livable city the public transportation is so easy it's so queer friendly and it's easy to walk everywhere I mean also amazing vegan food basically we have no negative to say about Sydney. It is an amazing city and if you haven't been here, 
you need to come and visit. Yeah, so we had the absolute best time here. Um, I don't want to leave, I mean, even though we're leaving tomorrow. We're going Sad. somewhere really cool. I still don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you if you're coming to Sydney. And um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.